Welcome to December, everybody. Nathan here with um, episode 27 of the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival. And yes, it is December. Let me just take a look, see if I got a Mies block. I don't think I do anywhere. Let's see. Today I plan to travel to the Underworld. Or as, I think I need nine of those. Or as we normally call it, a cave realm. I need copper. And I need a lot of copper. Ooh. Do I have enough stuff scattered around throughout all my chests? I need a travel net for in the house. Of course. And then, you know, I'm going to take that with me. And then I'm going to need one for the cave. Now, somebody generously gifted me one. And I don't know who it was. Ooh. So close, man. So close. But no go. Oh, this is lame. Because I need nine of these to make a Mies block, and I need nine of these to make a, a crystal. So close, yet so far. Well, that's all right. I have another item that was gifted me. Actually, let me check in my mailbox real quick. Okay, I, I wasn't expecting there to be anything there, but always good to check. I have, oh wait, this used to have something on it. Teleporter offline. Well, that's all right. Um, I have a cave rum location, so all I need to do is throw that number, 1942, 1, negative, 696, okay. I just, uh, wrote that down on my laptop. 1, negative. I know it's kind of cheating. Now do I, st I forget how to use this. Do I stand on it? Okay, yes I do. I have a feeling that did not work at all. Oh wait, that takes me here. Uh -huh -huh. That's not actually even the cave realm location. That's the location of Dew Cake's house, which had an entrance to a cave realm in it. However, uh, that doesn't look like it's any longer accessible. Well, that's lame, man. That's lame. So now what? Now what do I do? Just go home? Probably. Dude, that is... That's horrible. Um... Sh yeah. I don't... It's going to take me ages to mine down to a cave realm. Um, over here, you can see I made some changes. It doesn't look like all the blocks have loaded up there. I did the off camera. I just threw some dirt up there to get me to the correct elevation that I need to have to get the optimal amount of sunlight to power the solar panels. So that is raring to go. I'm kind of disliking this. The fact... Oh, wait! Because if I dig this... Oh, well, duh, there's a floor up there. We have to dig out one of these. Well, okay. It's a bad example because that one doesn't work that way. I just dislike how this is set up. 
mainly in that I don't think I'm going to have enough space to get stuff done down here. And I'm sure I will, but I just don't feel like there's enough space. Well, I'll go ahead and... Actually, I should fill that with wood. There's one over here, though, that's dirt. And I don't like it being dirt. Better. Okay, that should be a piece of wood. Go ahead and put the floor in there. Okay. That should be filled. This wall. Here, and this should all be tile. Boop, boop, boop. This whole stairway looks kind of sketch. Like there should be something holding it up. But, eh, whatever. This is gonna be horrible for building things in. See, the problem is that if I put lights on the ceiling, which is the plan, I'm gonna do uh, super glow glass, but I'm gonna do it in slabs. If I only have a ceiling that's three high, then it gets difficult if there's a pipe running through, you can't jump over the pipe and get through. So you really need the ceiling to be four high. But as I go anywhere where there's not house above me, then I'm going to have a ceiling that's dirt. Which is going to mean vines. And I really don't like vines growing down through my basement. It just, well, it looks stupid. And it's messy. And I hate things being messy. So I don't know. I may have to change something up, though I don't even know what I would change. Oh, see, that's the edge of my house. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to just leave that open for right now because that lets a lot of light in, surprisingly. And I could use that light right at the moment. So, I may as well take advantage of it. So, I say so a lot in these videos. So, on the, well, on the topic of talking about so, I have, let's see, what have we done? I have decided that I will be taking a short break from these videos. Um, and now, this video is going live December 1st, but I'm actually recording this on November 10th, so I'm recording these way in advance, and that pretty much stays true for any of my, my test videos. They're all recorded way in advance, um, and that's nice because it kind of takes the pressure off. You know, it's like, well, I've got a whole bank of videos to fall back on if for some reason I miss a miss an episode one week for whatever reason you know I'm not not having it but I think I'm gonna be taking a, a couple week break and this break will actually be it's gonna I don't know how it's gonna work for sure because it's gonna be a Christmas break I figured that was fairly fitting to do a Christmas break, but um, I'll be recording up to that point. So like it's November 10th, well I'll be recording till pretty much Christmas, and then at that point, I will take the break. So yeah, I don't really know when videos will go back up, because I'm going to have, by that time, I'll have almost till the end of December accounted for with recordings. So there'll be videos still going while I'm on break. And then, yeah, I don't know. I haven't really figured out how the logistics of that are all going to work. Because I'll come back from break 
and possibly you guys won't even know that I stopped recording videos because of the delay between recording and publishing. I don't know. It's something I haven't really figured out how I'm going to do it yet. Okay, well this is what I'm going to have to do. Drop the ceiling to three high. Which should be okay. I'm going to actually end up running power in some of these walls. So stuff will be dug out in there to let cables through. Ooh, speaking of that. I should try to figure out where I need to run that cable from over here. Um, I had it sticking out. No, I didn't have it sticking out. This row of dirt is representative of where that cable will be. That's how that worked. Give myself some air to breathe. Love how you can do this little cheat. It's the best thing ever. All right, got full air. Let's dig this stuff out again. Um. Is that right? Yipes. I dug one way too deep someplace. Why am I not using my shovel? Okay, I've hit stone. Um Okay, so that's the that might be right actually. Let's see how this turns out. I mean, oh no. Fortunately for me, I had sticks and I had raw iron because I was intending to go into a cave realm. Oh, hey, actually that's uh This is my house right here. Uh Okay, so I'm one node below the floor. So actually, I can run the wire. Oh, this water makes it hard to tell where stuff is. Okay, so this is the floor. So I can run the wire on top of this dirt path. Which, I don't know if I am or not. I'm going to find out shortly here. No, I think the dirt path was actually set. Yeah, that's where the wire is running. It's going to put the wire one lower than it needs to be. Well, that's no good. That means I'm wasting a wire. That's, that is horrible. Horrible and completely unacceptable. Oh, hey, this works. Okay, so I should have a few wire now, I think. an inventory four pieces of wire okay so I th think we want to run the wire there because that'll put the wire above this yep okay so that is figured out sort of ish unfortunately this is going to leave Some of this unprotected, which means people could theoretically steal my power. They could, like, actually run stuff right off of the lines. And with me only visiting the server once a week, I wouldn't even know about it till super late. I don't think it would really matter. I mean, if I'm not on the server, what does it matter if they're stealing my power? As long as they're not coming through and stealing the wire. 
I could always protect that, I guess, if I really thought it was going to be an issue. Wait, why is... My front doors aren't protected? What? That's dumb. Oh, hey, now it's all loaded. So that's where the solar panels need to go to. So I got to figure out what I'm going to build up there. Man, I really need to find a cave, though. Let's go ahead and use the radar vision. Um, this is just a really dark cave. That I've hit a wall in. Okay, I don't think this goes anywhere. Hmm. What about over here? Again, I doubt if this goes anywhere, but it is lit up. You know, I'm probably the one that lit that. And some explorations. What about down over here? I'm assuming it probably doesn't go anywhere either. Doesn't really look like it. Nope, does not go anywhere. Man, I need to find a cave realm. That is the easiest and the best way of getting resources. Resources that I desperately need. Actually, the only resource I really need is copper. At the moment. I mean, obviously, I need a lot of other resources, too. But copper is the big one right now. Um, well. Let's grab this. Uh, no, I'll put that back. Uh, I'll take that. I probably won't use it, but I'll take it. Definitely wouldn't use that at all. Nothing in that chest, which is good. That just means it's all been filtered down to these chests, which are completely unorganized right now. Like, horribly unorganized. I'll take that. Desert cobble, no, because I might need that for other things. I'll take those. Someone gave me a ton of raw iron. Oh, hey, I wonder. Can I reverse engineer this? Can I make it into anything else? Probably not. Well, I realize that it has no uses. Man. That's alright. I can use this as a decorative piece. Okay. Time to run over to the power tower. Power tower power? Power tower? I forget what I have it called. Let me get my mini map back to a usable state. Alright, so. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a dragon up there? Dude, dragon, this is a horrible time to be visiting. I may just have to slay you. I may. I don't know. It depends. Come on. Come on. Jump, 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 jump. Do a little shift jumping. Oh, good. Daylight has arrived. Stupid vine. Does a vine really matter? It shouldn't. It shouldn't matter at all. No! Well, that's something I gotta watch out for, I guess. Okay. Seemingly, the dragon has gone bye-bye. Which is most excellent. Alright, so... Well, we started with cobble. But I have a large distaste for massive cobble structures. So, I'm gonna take this cobble out of here, and I'll take that out too. And we shall replace it with these tiles, because they look nicer. It's all about the looks. It's 
all it is. It's about the looks. Things need to be aesthetically pleasing. If they're not, why bother building? And no, I'm not an architect. Or anything like... Well, I'm kind of an artist. A little bit. Sort of-ish. Like, I enjoy art. Don't know why I bother digging that. No doubt you'll never see it. Oh well, whatever. Okay, so we got this row of cobble. Then... Uh, bu 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 bu. I'm going to have plenty of that stuff. These I could use when I make it get smaller. Which I will as it goes up. I'm going to have to figure out how stairs are going to work on this. Mm. <laughs> Let me get rid of this tree first. This tree is going to be a big problem if I leave it there. And the only reason it's going to be a big problem is because its leaves will be in the way. Which I could totally easily remove. But, eh, why bother? Why bother when I can make them remove themselves? Okay, so that's good. That's all fine and dandy. Going around, that looks good. And the leaves evidently don't want to remove themselves. We're going to do a row of these. La, 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 la. Now, I'm planning on doing something of a ziggurat-esque. Is ziggurat-esque a word? I doubt it. Well, it'll be a tower that gets smaller as you go higher. Which is how a ziggurat works. In essence. Uh, I guess there. Okay, I want this to blend in with the naturally surrounding beauty. So I'm going to end up actually planting trees around it. At the base. Kind of to hide it a little bit. You know, be all eco and all that good stuff. You know, I want to get my Energy Star approved stamp for this power plant. And the only way we're going to do that is if we uh, replace the trees that we remove in its building. And um, make sure we have carbon, carbon offsets. Is that what they call it? Because solar power, even though it's a zero carbon emission thing, uh, you know, it's... It just... It's really hard on the environment to be sapping up all that silt. Whoops. Wrong items. No, wait. That's the right items. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to make sure this stays a carbon neutral facility. Which uh, I'm planning on throwing some geothermals inside. So, yeah, geothermals, I'm sure, are totally a carbon-neutral type thing. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm not really creating anything outside of steam with a geothermal. I'm using lava and water. Like, that's not really un-eco-friendly, is it? Uh -uh. Don't know, and I don't care. All right, so the solar grid... Should be four by four. I should count what size this is. Hopefully this is a a correctly sized thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means this is an eight by eight opening. So if I drop this down seven by seven, six by six, six by six. 6x6 six six opening once more would make it a 4x4, four four, which is what we want. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do for the corner. Uh, this is where dirt comes in handy, because I can remove that easily. I'm going to do that. I don't know what I'm going to do in the corner. 
thought I spied a dragon, but I guess not. Um, this dirt will actually end up getting removed, which is why I am using dirt for this. It's just, it's quick to place, relatively quick to get rid of. And you know what, I'm gonna throw some light down in here. Just because I am afraid of, oh no, things that go bump in the night. No, I, not things that go bump in the night. Um, but I don't want anything spawning surprisingly on me in there. Alright, so, the question is, what to put in the corner? I could do lead... Whoa, can he jump this high? I guess not, good. I don't know what his reach is, though. Let's see if we can... Ah, he's too far away, I can't even reach him. Man, that's bomb. Come on, buddy. Yeah, his collision box can't reach. Which is just as well, honestly. Okay, what do we have that would make a good corner block? Oh, hey, I could do... Whoa, I'm running out of those. I forgot you can do tile block with different patterns so you can do this oh is that the only thing you can get i don't want that it looks like it is okay well oh wait how do you you just craft it by itself oh okay i'll take four of those sure how will that look here Eh, it works. It's got that dividing line going through the center, which matches up with the stair. Wow, these things are just swarming. Like, literally swarming to me. I just, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm overwhelmed by their goodwill. That is goodwill they're exhibiting, right? They're not, like, trying to kill me or anything, are they? I guess. Why, why would they want to? I'm a famous YouTube star. Like, this would ruin these guys' careers. I'm honestly kind of surprised they haven't despawned yet. I would have thought they would have done that. This is going to have to go so high. I probably made it too narrow too soon. But no, this saves... This saves on resources that I need to build. So it's actually a good step to take, when you think about it, because I'm going to end up needing a lot of resources. Now, I don't know how I'm going to make a stairway going up in a ziggurat-styled building, because obviously, I can't... This is four by four, right? Yeah, okay. So this is this is final dimensions for the open. Okay, well that actually works really well for me. So top row, I'll probably do the stairs again. And then put the solar panels right there. Um I wonder about putting windows in. Should I do windows? Uh oh. Oh no. I did something wrong here. My building is not square. Oh, great. This is horrible. I'm gonna have to tear half of this out. And to what side? Probably this side, honestly. Okay. Well, I'm not going to make you guys watch that. That would be boring. I'm going to do that off camera. 
I should have... Man, that is horrible. These guys are still just chilling here. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap the episode up here. And then I will, off camera, boop, slide this wall over. And then next episode, we'll maybe finish the building. I don't know. Um, yeah, I need to get some glass so I can make these windows. Because I think windows would be a nice feature to have. All right, well, I will catch you guys next time.